Okay, so let's solve this problem. So to find the solution of the rational inequalities, so first we need to find the critical values and to solve for the critical values from this given, just equate this numerator to 0. So we have x minus 1 equals 0, then to solve for x, transpose, so x is equal to positive 1. Then also equate this denominator to 0, so x plus 3 equals 0. Then to solve for x, so transpose, x is negative 3. So these are the critical values. Then put these values in a number line. So we have this 0. Then x is positive 1, so this one is positive 1 x is negative 3, so negative 1, negative 2, then negative 3. So this is negative infinity, and this side is positive infinity. So again, these are the critical values, the negative 3 and the positive 1. Then to find a numbers to test, so we're going to use this method. So before before this negative 3, so therefore this number, that's negative 4. Then between, so between the two critical values, between negative 3 and positive 1, so we can have negative 2, negative 1, and 0. So just choose only one number. Since we have this 0, so therefore for between, that's 0. Then the last one, the after, so after the last critical value, so after positive 1, this one is positive 2. So these are the numbers to test, the before, between, and after. Then put these numbers in a sign analysis table. So for x, we have this negative 4. Then negative 3, we also have 0, then positive 1, and the last one, the positive 2. Then for the numerator, x minus 1, and in the denominator, x plus 3, then the result. So in the sign analysis table, starts with the critical values, that's negative 3 and positive 1. So if x equals negative 3, this equation becomes 0, so negative 3 plus 3, that's 0. And if the denominator is equal to 0, then that equation becomes undefined or error. Then for x equals positive 1, so this equation becomes 0 because 1 minus 1, that's 0. And if the numerator is equal to 0, then that equation becomes 0. Then for the numbers to test, so starts with x equals negative 4. So for the numerator, if x is negative 4, so negative 4 minus 1, that's negative 5. So therefore, this one is negative. So just write only the sign. Then for the denominator, if x is negative 4, so negative 4 plus 3, that's negative 1. So therefore, this one is negative. Then divide, so negative divide by negative. So dividing the same sign, the result, is positive. Then for x equals 0, so for the numerator, x is 0. So 0 minus 1, that's negative 1. So this one is negative. Then x equals 0, so 0 plus 3, that's positive 3. So this one is positive. Then negative divide by positive, so dividing unlike sign or different sign, the result is negative. 
then the last one for x equals positive 2, so positive 2 minus 1, that's positive 1, so this one is positive. Then for the denominator, positive 2 plus 3, that's positive 5, so this one is positive. And positive divide by positive, so the same sign, the result is positive. Then since in the given, the condition is greater than 0, and take note, that all positive numbers are greater than 0. So therefore, in the result, just look for the positive result. So we have this positive on the left of negative 3. So therefore, on the left of negative 3, this one is positive. And also we have this positive on the right of positive 1. So on the right of positive 1, this one is also positive. So to write this one in notation form, so from negative infinity to negative 3, then union positive 1 to positive infinity. So this is now the solution of these rational inequalities. Then for this given, so again to find the critical values, equate this numerator to 0. So we have x squared minus x minus 30 equals 0. Since this one is a quadratic equation, so we're going to use the factoring. So equal is 0. Then for the first term, this one is x. So we have x and x. Then for this negative 30, since negative, so 1 negative and 1 is positive. Then to find the factors of this negative 30, then in the given, since the middle term, is negative so therefore in the factors the bigger number must be negative so factors of negative 30 that's negative 6 and positive 5 so the bigger number must be negative because if we add this negative 6 and positive 5 the result is negative 1 and negative 1 is the middle term so therefore we have this negative 6 and positive 5. Then equate these factors to 0. So we have x minus 6 equals 0. Then x plus 5 equals 0. And to solve for x, so equals transpose, that's positive 6. Then the other one, x equals transpose, that's negative 5. Then for the denominator, so x minus 1 equals 0. So therefore, x is equal to transpose. That's positive 1. So these are the critical values. Positive 1, positive 6, and negative 5. Then put these critical values in a number line. So this one is 0, we have this positive 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so positive 6, then negative 5, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, then negative 5, and we also have this positive 1. So this one is negative infinity, and this side is positive infinity. So again, these are the critical values, the negative 5, the positive 1, and the positive 6. Then to find the numbers to test, so using the before, between, and after. So before this first critical value, that's 
negative 6. Then between these two critical values, so you can use negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and 0. Since we have this 0, so therefore, we use 0. And also, between this positive 1 and positive 6, so you can have 2, 3, 4, and 5. So just choose only one number. So let's choose positive 2 for between 1 and 6. And the last one, the after. So after the last critical value, so after 6, that's positive 7. So these are the numbers we need to test. The before, between, and after. Then put these numbers in a science analysis table. So we have x, so possible values for x starts with negative 6, we have negative 5, then 0, positive 1, positive 2, the positive 6, and the last one, the positive 7. Then for the numerator, we're going to use these factors. So that's x minus 6 times x plus 5. And for the denominator, x minus 1. So x minus 1. Then the last one, the result. So again, starts with the critical values. So that's positive 6, negative 5, and positive 1. So for x equals negative 5, so this equation becomes 0 because negative 5 plus 5, that's 0. So 0 numerator, the result is 0. Then for x equals positive 1, so this equation becomes 0. So 1 minus 1, that's 0. And 0 denominator, this one is undefined or error. And if x equals positive 6, so this equation becomes 0, 6 minus 6. So numerator is 0, then the result is 0. And for the test of numbers, so starts with x equals negative 6. So for the numerator, negative 6 minus 6, this one is negative. And the other one, negative 6 plus 5, that's negative 1. So this one is negative. And negative times negative, so multiplying the same sign, the final answer is positive. Then for the denominator, x is negative 6. So negative 6 minus 1, that's negative 7. So this one is negative. Then divide, so positive, divide by negative. Dividing not the same sign or unlike sign, the result is negative. Then for x equals 0, so 0 minus 6. That's negative 6, so this one is negative. And 0 plus 5, that's positive 5, so this one is positive. And negative times positive, this one is negative. Then for the denominator, 0 minus 1, that's negative 1, so this one is negative. Then divide, negative divide by negative, so the same sign, the result is positive. Then for x equals positive 2, so positive 2 minus x, that's negative 4, so this one is negative, and positive 2 plus 5, that's positive 7, so this one is positive, then negative times positive, this one is negative, then for the denominator, 
So, x is positive 2. So, 2 minus 1. That's positive 1. So, this one is positive. Then, divide. Negative divide by positive. The result is negative. Then, the last one for x equals 7. So, 7 minus 6. That's positive 1. And 7 plus 5. This one is positive 12. Then positive times positive, this one is positive. And for the denominator, 7 minus 1, that's positive 6. So this one is positive. Then positive divide by positive, the result is positive. Then from the given, we have this less than or equal to 0. So take note that all negative numbers are less than or equal to 0. So therefore, from the result, just look for the negative result. Since this one is negative, and that's on the left of negative 5, so on the left of negative 5, then we also have this negative between positive 1 and positive 6. So between this positive 1 and positive 6. But observe that in the given, we have this equal to 0. Since equal to 0, so therefore, 0 is part of the solution. Since for negative 5, the result is 0. So therefore, for negative 5, this parenthesis becomes a square bracket. And also for positive 6, the result is 0. So therefore, for this positive 6, this parenthesis becomes a square bracket. So in notation form, so from negative infinity, to negative 5. Then since negative 5 is part of the solution, so this one is a square bracket. Then union. So from positive 1, that's parenthesis, to positive 6. And again, this one is part of the solution. So we have this d square bracket. So this is now the solution of this rational inequalities.